The Rose Town Foundation has been operating in the Rose Town community, offering services to the children, particularly through our education program, for many years. What we've found is that amongst boys in particular, adolescent boys 13 to 17, they have a number of challenges which were exacerbated by the COVID pandemic and the breakdown in the education system. Based on the feedback we're getting from them, from the community at large, we decided to start a program called Save Our Sons. The idea being that we would target these boys and provide them with educational support, some kind of skills training, mentorship, that would help them to transition over this period. Part of it was to try and get them reintegrated back into the education system, or at least to have some vision for a future for themselves. So we were very grateful to be able to get funding through CB FACE to do a kind of pilot to see what could work with this target group. What's the other name of this drum? It's called the Naya Bingi drum or the Kete drum. In addition, with the assistance of the Violence Prevention Alliance, we've been able to offer a drumming therapy for these boys as well. So they do that three or four days a week, they come in and do a drumming session with our trainers who are from the community and from our staff. Drum therapy really and truly is supposed to be a therapeutic wellness tool that's supposed to assist with trauma, anxiety, stress and to bring about more positive emotions, positive interactions with those around. So with the training that we would have received, they would have learned about um, sequences, and hand positioning on the drums and also what you'd call rhythms and chants where you get to sing along as well as playing. You see how oh, you see the roots of the banana planting exposed? We don't want that gentlemen. In addition we have a farm which helps in our nutrition program for the education team and also provides readily accessible vegetables for the community. So the SOS boys also are introduced to farming weren't very enthusiastic at the beginning, but once they got out there and got to understand the importance of bugs and bees and how they could make money, they have become very engaged in that program as well. The other component, which is the most popular, is football. So they play football twice a week. They've had matches with teams from other communities. Haven't done so well in some of them, but it has helped to build the camaraderie and the sense of community when they know they're out representing Rosetown. The participants in our programs have life-changing experiences, and we know that the boys that are here now have really benefited from being part of the SOS project.